Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a, a page in Emma's Tale by this person down here, Grazia Salvo. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. We did a flip through of this book and this is the first page to color in here. Uh, every other page has got a picture. It's like a journal so you can put it your own information in here. It's also got a story that goes along with it. So this is Emma. She wakes up in the sensation of living inside of a bubble like a fish in an aquarium that will never live freely in the depth of the infinite sea. So we've got like a little goldfish here, the rocks, her inside her bubble, and then some leaves coming out. And we're just going to use some Museum aquarelle pencils to color in and um, then shade. So I have to pick out some blue tones for the water. Boy. In the background, I just pulled out three kind of a turquoise, a, I don't know, darkish blue, night blue, <laughs> and a green. And we're going to kind of do a bluish background in there. We'll have to get out some colors for um, the goldfish and then her skin. So yeah, we'll just start off with these and do the background in the bubble first. So we're going to scribble these down on the uh, Karen Dash board on the rough side so that the colors will actually lay down on that. And this one. We'll do it both ways. So I've got those colors down and then I'll just take the colors and put them down on the paper and see how this will work. So this color is, um, I believe it's light malachite green. I'm going to put that one in the lightest areas here and maybe some over here by the fish and maybe some down in here. I want to get this to blend together in different areas. This one here is turquoise blue. Put it on here. Try to avoid the leaves a little bit. <laughs> Blend it into some of that green. And then we'll bring in night blue. It's going to be our darker color. Blend it right into that turquoise. Okay, I'm going to use a Tombow Colorless Blender and we're going to see how this blends. Make sure there's no other color on here. if that was a leaf that I just covered up. Oh well.
Now any place that looks a little choppy, we'll bring in some other color over here into that, blend it a little better. There we go. Get that color off the brush because there's a lot of that on there. <laughs> and then we will get out something to do the goldfish in. Grab some oranges here. Yellow. Ooh. Probably use a darker color. Why not? Okay, I grabbed about four. I have saffron, scarlet, golden yellow, and vermilion. I don't know if I'll use the scarlet, but if we do, we do. Then we're going to do about the same thing color in the little fishy. The lightest color first. bit of the saffron. And then we'll go in with the vermilion. And then we will leave out the uh, other color until I mix all that. See what that looks like. Make sure again that all the blue is out. We want a gold fish, not a purple fish. So we're going to go in here first and mix all that yellow up. Try not to go out of the lines.
I'm going to put a little of the uh, saffron. And of the golden yellow on the board. And I'm just going to mix those two together. There we go. And the rocks. I'm going to do that with a little steel gray. And ooh, brown olive. I think we'll try water on this one. And we'll see how water does on the page. Do I have a water brush? I do. And it's got water in it. How nice. Gonna put a little the olive um, or the brown olive in here. So, <laughs> okay, a little water. Trying to get a little less water on there. I'm going to go up here. Just drag some of that color out of our fins. We'll bring a little of that blue into the rocks too, so they have a little bit of a blue cast from the water. Leaves. We need to do a 
Well, let's do some chrome oxide leaves here. Did I get that wet? Okay, pull in the water and see how that works. Okay, and the seaweed needs to be a bit darker. I don't know, a little moss green. Is there any up here? Throw a little of that in the rocks too. Um, her hair. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting because it's underwater and she's gonna get a little blue on her face, so her hair's gonna have a little blue in it too. Uh oh, that's an interesting color. Um Kind of a brown would probably be better with the blue. Oh, I can't get this pencil out. There we go. Uh, what are you? Brown ochre. That's an ear. Be careful. There's another piece of... Um seaweed down there. Okay. This is dark flesh. I'm not sure what color that's going to turn out to be. We're going to color in this little piece of
seaweed there before we get into anything else. Make sure our brush is clean. Then we're just going to take this brown and go into her hair with it. sure what those little marks are, but I think they're like a wave in the water. All right. Um, let's see, that was brown ochre. Okay, we gotta keep that up here because I have to do some highlights on there. Dark flesh, 50%. So I'm gonna go in these areas of her face. that are the darkest and see how this works. <laughs> Figured I can't mess it up too much since I'm putting uh, blue on her face. Do we have um, a little cinnamon? Um, ow! Gosh darn these are in here tight. Put a little cinnamon there. And uh, what are you? Oh, you're pink. Can I add some other uh, light flesh? There we go. Add that in. Okay, shall we see how that works? Put a little bit of whatever this is, the dark flesh, on the board so we can add in just a touch of it here and there.
It's not bad. My first attempt at watercoloring a face. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a little of the blue. This is the turquoise. I'm going to be a little careful here because I don't want too much color, but I want a little bit. She's underwater. I don't want to put too much water on the page either. Just going to run a little of that blue on her face. In through her hair, we can go in with a little bit darker blue. Let me just let that dry. And then I will do her eyes. Maybe we should put a little blue in the fish, but I'm not sure how much water I want to put on this. Paper. But it might as well dry at the same time, right? There we go. We'll be back as soon as it dries. Okay, we're all dry and I brought out some polychromo pencils. I mean, I could probably do them in the luminance, but I like my polys, so we're going to use those. <laughs> I brought out some greens, some blues, a little bit more skin color, and some yellows and oranges for the um, fishy wishy. Okay, so what I use, let's go in with the skin tones first. So I have light um, peach or flesh, whichever. Mine says flesh. I think the new ones say peach and cinnamon. And we're going to just add a little bit more color to her. I know she's in her bubble and she doesn't get to get out of her bubble. So she's going to continue to keep most of that color. But we're going to brighten up the skin a little bit more of the um, skin tone. So this is just the light peach slash <laughs> flesh there. So just keep that undertone of blue. I'm going to kind of pull that white, um, I don't know what it is, like I said, the uh, little wave or something, and we're going to pull that down on both sides here, just by darkening both sides of it. So I have to turn it here a little bit so I can get the angle right. Okay, a little bit of the cinnamon.
Okay, then we'll get a little bit of... I don't know if I want to use the ivory. I'm going to get out the buff titanium. Oh. Just because it's an easier blender for everything. I just have to find it. There it is. It's a Karen Dash pencil. And I'll run a little of that in the highlighted areas that I want. And just softly blend that in. darken her lips with something. Not like I'm that color. So we'll get out some kaput mortem here. Now we'll do her eyes. We're going to do them. Um, she's in here quite a bit, so let's see. We'll do them in blue. Brought the blues out. I have. Ooh, I need a yellow. You're pretty yellow. <laughs> Cadmium yellow. We're going to go down in here. I'm going to put in the uh, light blue cobalt turquoise. The light cobalt turquoise. <laughs> Sorry. Then up at the top, this is dark indigo. A little of the turquoise in the white part of the eye. And then we'll bring in a little of the buff titanium in there just to blend that. There we go. We're going to work on the fishy a little bit. Just turn those and move them up. I brought out the um, cadmium orange and dark cadmium orange. So both cadmium oranges. So I'm going to go with the lighter one first. We're just going to brighten some of that up.
the dark cadmium. Turn it around to do the tail. Okay, we need to do his eye. Um, what does a goldfish eye look like? Isn't it at all black? Tiny little rim. Gonna look it up. Goldfish. Image. Okay, mostly black, little silvery color around there. So we're going to get out our black pen. Do -do. Here we go. Get out of white. <laughs> Three things I always use in a page. So the black, for the most part. Oh, I'm sure that'll work. There we go. We'll let that dry. I brought out the white. Just just the whole bind uh, white. The uh, fishy fins I want to get a little white into, so we're just going to bring some of that in there. because they're a little transparent. Okay. Fuzzy wuzzy. Then you can bring back in the orange and kind of shape that up a little bit better. Uh, 
don't think I did that one. Okay. Trying to sp put some little scales up here. A little highlight on him. That eye needs to be a little darker. Okay. Uh, rocks are good. Leaves. So I'm going to bring in some uh, chrome green opaque into them. We have olive green yellowish. Just a little of that in the seaweed. Did I mark this page? <sighs> A little bit of brown. Okay, let's see. I'm going to throw a little cut put mortem in these rocks down at the bottom of these. Just to give them a bit more color. And we're going to throw a little of that in the fish in the darkest spots. Your hair needs a little brown something in it to make it a little browner. So I just grabbed the brown ochre pencil form. It's 
got an ear there. I gotta be careful. are so tiny <laughs> a walnut brown i'm gonna go around on the edge here since she's in a bubble and darken that and then just lightly bring it up Throw it in the rocks. Sharpen up that ochre here. Darken this stuff up a bit here. Then go right through that. Seaweed's kind of transparent. Make sure we leave her ear looking like an ear. Darken some of these lines that come down. Okay. Then we're going to get a white. Oh, I can use that other white I have. This one. That'll put a nice little haze in the water. Hopefully. Okay, we'll bring that down that way. We'll bring one right across to here. Bubbles. 
can't see them. I know there's one in here somewhere. Oops. Put the white in her eyes. Oh, and the fish. Need to get a little white in his eye too. dots in the fishy. Just going to keep going up here.
Yeah, they get little whiskers, don't they? I don't know if they do. But we're gonna attach some. Okay, then we're gonna do a white outline of that. If I could do it a little better. And maybe in here, just a little wider. Maybe up here a little bit. And take the other one. Go across it and it kind of blends it a little better. I'm going to put a little uh, inking in the background. Okay, we'll see how Distress Ink works on this. I have um, out Savage Patina and um, Blue Jeans. We're going to do kind of a crackle effect that comes out since we have these little lines going out here. Maybe I can accentuate some of that with some of these colors. So I'm going to get a little of the patina on here and just go in there there might be a little brown on the stencil so that'll probably go in too it's okay I'll put one over here going around the fish and some down here then we're going to take the um, not coordinated here blue jeans and just kind of go in with that too. Kind of get a um, two tone effect with it. Go over the rocks. Then back in with that lighter color. Let's see what we got so far. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, we're going to put that aside and we're going to go in with a little bit of the Patina just around out here a little. And up here on this side. careful around the fish because we put white all over him. OK, 
Okay, we'll go in with a tiny bit of the jeans. Just add a little of that around the base of these things. Okay, then we're going to bring in this stencil again. I'm going to wipe it down. We can't get some of that other color out. Put it there. Move these things so I'm not getting a big mess. Yep, like that. One down here. Let's see if we can't get a little one up in here. And we have a little bubble uh, thingy. <laughs> so we're going to put some little bubbles in here. Hopefully those will show up. Yep. Put some over here. Some right in here. Let's see if I can't. Find one that will fill in those. <laughs> see what they look like there. Green. That's good enough. Do you like the um, wrong one? This one. I want to put another one right about there. There we go. 
I'll stop in just a minute. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this one is this one. I think I'm going to just lightly go over those white ones with the remainder ink on here. Just to soften that color. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed. <clears throat> I'm going to lose my voice here. And I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Get to them as soon as I can. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.